Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding a value before a percentage change. We have this first question here. A t-shirt was reduced by 20% to £12. What was the original price? Now previously, the kind of questions we've seen is where we have a value that we know, we change it by a percentage, like add 20% or minus 20%, and then we want to find the new value. But here, we want to find that value before the percentage change. So, well, before I reduce a t-shirt by 20%, what was the original value? And there's two ways to do this. Method one is to think, what percentage am I at now? Well, everything starts 100%. So if the t-shirt was reduced by 20%, it's now at 80% of its value. And 80% of its value, the reduced price, is £12. And then we just have to work our way back to 100%, the full value of the t-shirt. Now, one way we could do it is to go via 10%. So to work out 10%, notice that this is getting eight times smaller, and therefore it would be eight times less in value. So we do 12 divided by eight is one pound 50. And then we need to get to 100%. So to get from 10% to 100%, well, this is 10 times bigger, so we have to times this by 10 as well. And £1.50 multiplied by 10 is £15. So the original cost of the t-shirt was £15. But there is a second method we could use, and it's this. Let's just say that the original value of the t-shirt was x. We don't know what it is, so we're just going to call it x. Now, what would we multiply something by to reduce it by 20%? Well, we want to find 80% of it. We're reducing it by 20% to 80%. And to find 80% of something, we saw in a previous video that we can work out the equivalent decimal multiplier. Well, 80% as a decimal is 0.8. So multiplying by 0.8 will find 80% of it. It will reduce it by 20%. And after reducing it by 20%, or finding 80% of it, that gave us 12 pounds. And then we can just use a bit of algebra. Well, if something times by 0.8 is 12, then we can do 12 divided by 0.8 to get back to the original value. So I just need to do x equals 12 divided by 0.8, and that's 15 pounds, which is exactly the same value as we got here. Now, I absolutely do not mind which of these two methods you use. I personally prefer this one because it's quicker and you have to write less, um, but if you find this method clearer, then that's absolutely fine. What about this second one? The weight of a cat increases by 5% to 23.1. What was its original weight? So let's do both methods again. Method one is to say, well, what percentage are we at now? So if the weight increases by 5%, well, it was originally at 100, remember, always start at 100%, it goes up by 5%, we're now at 105%. So 105% of the cat's weight was 23.1 kilograms. So as before, we need to work our way back to 100%. Well, we could go to 10%, but it doesn't divide nicely to get to 10%. Let's just divide by 105 to get to 1%. So if we divide that by 105, Let's divide this by 105, so 23.1 divided by 105 is 0.22 kilograms. And then to get to 100%, well, to get from 1 to 100, we need to multiply by 100. So let's multiply this by 100, 0.22, multiply by 100, and we get 22 kilograms. So that's the final answer. Let's use method 2. If the original weight of the cat is x, what would we multiply by to increase by 5%? Well, it starts 100%, it goes up by 5% to 105% of its weight. Now, 105% as a decimal is 1.05. And increasing by 5% then gets us to a new weight of 23.1. And again, we divide. X is just equal to the 23.1 divided by that 1.05. And if we do that, we are going to get that same weight of 22 kilograms. So choose whatever method you use and just be confident in that particular method that you pick.